Hi welcome to Lanson's channel. Today I came to the Sofia Museum of the Modern Art, which is the second museum I visited in Madrid. In general, European cities have at least two art museums, one exhibiting traditional art and the other displaying various modern art. Today, I want to share my personal thoughts on Western modern art after visiting over 100 museums. These opinions may not be correct, but they are meant to stimulate discussion. Traditional art museums are very orderly, with each era having distinct characteristics. In contrast, modern art is very chaotic and even abandons basic rules of beauty. When you visit the first 30 museums, you may feel tired of modern art and prefer classical art. I used to hold this viewpoint as well when I created my videos in 2017. However, after seeing over 100 museums, my perspective has evolved. I now think that classical art museums are like a foundation, a compulsory education of Western cultural. It's definitely worth visiting, but the return on time investment will begin to decline after you have seen certain amount of it. At first, people generally dislike modern art because we have not yet laid a foundation in aesthetics. Art education is weak in Chinese society. I remember during my primary and secondary school years, my art classes were usually taken over by teachers of main subjects such as maths. When you have visited about 50 museums, you have completed the foundation stage, and from this point, my fondness for modern art began to rise. To use an analogy, a modern art museum is like a flea Sunday market or a university's interest groups. They all have different styles, so you can't participate in every group. Similarly, you can't like every piece of art in a modern art museum. Therefore, I believe it is normal to give a 10-10 rating for one piece of art and a minus 10 rating for another, saying it was a garbage. In contrast, classical paintings at least have a certain structure, so even if you are not interested in the subject matter, you will at least give it some scores without a negative rating. So, by the time I visited 50 museums, I realized that a modern art museum is like an experimental lab for students. As a venue itself, it has no preferences, it is just a public space. Therefore, in 2017, I claimed I disliked the entire modern modern art museum because I did not like the pieces inside. So my thinking was naive back then. If you are still at the same stage as me in 2017, please think about whether my arguments are reasonable. If someone asks you whether you like modern art, and they simply give a yes or no answer, they are definitely a beginner. When we enter a modern art museum, we should praise what we like and criticize what we don't like. It's okay to be casual. So, after visiting 50 museums, now when I visit a new city, I prefer to see a modern art museum over the traditional one. I must say, if I create English video content earlier, my work might already hang on one of these exhibitions. But when I create the very same contents in Chinese language, I can only have very few followers and the authority keeps suppressing and manipulating my views and number of followers. The more meticulously and excellently I create, the fewer views I get, because the current environment is forcing creators to make short and vertical videos. Therefore, it is a negative feedback loop. Another point worth mentioning is the encouragement of experimentation, providing funding and venues for experimentation. This logic is consistent whether in art or technology. One Chinese guy leaving a comment on my video, saying that Western art museums is meaningless and a waste of time. As Chinese people should focus on learning Western technology such as lithography machines, and that is the most important thing. This kind of thinking shows how stupid they are and they don't even understand the meaning of Renaissance over Western history. He was like a certain type of Chinese parent who believes that once their child studies music or art, or plays basketball for two hours, they will lose their focus on math, physics, and chemistry. These people forcibly separate science from music, art, and sports, and describe them as mutually exclusive, this outdated and stupid thinking is still very popular in the minds of Chinese parents. I don't have children and I'm not interested in education, but I shared this observations just for everyone to think about. The real highlights are on the second floor. All of the rooms contain genuine works by Picasso and Dali. The entire hall is filled with Picasso's paintings, while Dali's paintings have a very distinctive style. 
surprisingly, nobody was looking at this particular painting titled The Invisible Man. Many historical events that occurred in the 19th century have had a profound impact on human history. Later, I found out that tonight's entrance was free for young people, considered a public welfare activity. The street views was beautiful. Recently, I noticed a new trend inside Chinese internet of filming how chaotic and full of rubbish in Paris. Videos with these types of keywords always get high views. This large amount of exposure was no doubt manipulated by the Billy Billy platform. For example this vlogger only has 700 followers, and his other videos of Paris only have a few hundred views. But once he turned his camera towards rubbish bin, he suddenly get 200, thousands views. What is the motivation behind this? I'll leave it up to you to analyze. Is it not better to appreciate the beauty of Western Europe instead? Every city, including my own home city in China, is filled with rubbish on collection days. If I intentionally filmed during that time, I would capture the same kind of shots. Do you want others to engage in such boring and unintelligent behavior towards your city? My camera casually entered a small pub, and the atmosphere inside was warm and harmonious. They looked at me with gentle and friendly eyes, not covering their faces or blocking the camera. So it all depends on creator's willingness, he can wither create a 100% chaotic video, or a 100% harmonious video. Criticizing each other has no future. Only tolerance and a peaceful mind can help you see things more wider.